In this video, let us understand how to make cricket database management project. So it's a web application project demo. So here we'll show you like complete project, how we can do this project, how the whole project works, what are the options are there in the different modules. So after watching this, definitely it will helpful for you to make this project. And this project will show you in ASP.NET with C language and SQL Server as a backend. But still you can develop the same project in a different languages too, like in JSP, PHP or Python. So therefore you should know the concept. So here we will give a clear picture. So what are the things we can add up in this project and based on that, definitely you could have make a, a kind of project. So if you have any project requirement, you can contact us. Fine. Now let's understand uh, what is this cricket database, what all we can do in this particular project. So here the basic idea is cricket database management. So to provide all the details of the cricket to the users. So if user want to know about the particular player, so we should provide the details of that particular player. And user want to know about the matches, so therefore you can provide the match details. So when this match happened, what happened to the match, all this. We could able to show to the users. So as the number of users increases, the value of the site increases, and naturally we can generate revenue for the same site. So therefore, it's a new idea. So it will have wider scope. So therefore, all the people who are love to cricket, they can use this particular website to view this. So therefore, the scope is wider. Everybody can view this. There is no restrictions over there. So therefore, in order to make more uh, user friendly and attractive. We can make a different module. So one is what you call as admin module. So admin for the company side, okay. What company can do, uh, what are the things they can enter, that is the thing. Then you can have an employee module. So we provide an option for the employee to enter the data. So we can instruct the employee. So this is the data you're supposed to enter. And as the user module, so user can get the benefit of what are the data is available. You could be able to view it. So these are the three main options. And this we will show you in ASP.NET. So this is the first time we are doing the project. So then you should know an idea like how to write the project. So the, this video definitely will help you to make this project like how you can start, how do we do the project and then how to complete it and then how to run, how to explain. All this we will show you step by step. And the backend is a SQL server. This is a Microsoft SQL server. And we use IAS as a server like internet information server to run the project. So all these are built in. So in a Visual Studio, so therefore you record Visual Studio in order to run this project. So here we are using Visual Studio 2019. So if you have previous editions also, you can still use them. But if you install this one recent edition, this is more ideal. Fine. Now let's look at the modules. So what are the modules in this project? So as we discussed already, it will have three modules. One is admin module. The next is the user module or customer module and the employee module. Now what are the options we can provide in the admin module? So admin module allow these options. So here we can enter the country names and then we can see the list. What are the countries already entered? City names and the corresponding list. Stadium. So where all the stadiums are available? All the stadium details can be entered via this stadium details and you can see the list here. And the player details. So all cricket player details we can enter here and then we can see the list. Team details. So we can enter the teams. What are the teams are there? The corresponding list. Then match, okay. When the match will happen, where it will happen, all the details can be entered here. Then the employee details, who are all the employees working in this company, that we can enter here. And news, any news related to the cricket that we can upload here. So, and also you can see the list corresponding. List is to see like what is already entered. So, what happened like you know, if I have a player, whether I want to check whether I entered or not. Therefore, if you go to list, I can able to see that whether the particular user is entered or not, particular player is entered or not. If not, then I can come back to player, we can enter. So then FAQ, these are frequently asked questions and the corresponding list. So these are the options which are provided in the admin. But some we can also shift to the employee. So even employees can enter. But at this stage, um, so we are entering everything in the admin module. Customer module, what customer can view it? So we can see the score actually. So mass score that you can able to view it. And FAQ list, frequent asked questions. And then sports news. So news, whatever you uploaded that you can able to see here and team details, uh, which are the teams and who are the players of the particular team 
and player details, individual player details here. And an employee module, so we provide an option to enter the data score, like no cricket score. They can enter the cricket score here step by step. And the corresponding list they can able to see, and even they can change the password and then log out. So here every one one is very very important. Let's say change password in a in order to provide in a in your project. So you have to write the code. Like we should know like how to write that code and how to implement it. So then only we can add this particular page over there. So for it will give a different uh, outlook. It is kind of different project than the regular one. So therefore you are thinking in the different direction. So there are small small uh, teams or small small games going on everywhere. Like you uh, know, uh, a state level uh, cricket, a uh, district level cricket, and there are some organization that conduct the cricket. So for them and all, so kind of softwares are required. Then you can help them uh, build this kind of application for them as per their requirement, and then definitely it serves the purpose. So therefore, and you learn to understand the whole cricket. So there is also a startup idea. It's a new startup idea. You can use this as a startup idea. Here, what happen? You need to build a website and real-time website. So, what are the requirement? First, you need to look at the requirement. So, if you have time, so presently you're not working and uh, you have a lot of time. So then you can plan up like you want to plan to make a something like a different, and you want to reach out the people, and from that you want to earn money. So this is a good startup idea. Here, what you can do first, you need to look at your investments. What are your investment? So when you talk about the investment, you need a website, real-time website. So you need to domain, then domain hosting. So therefore, hosting space. So put together, it may be around, uh, let's say around seven thousand rupees, or it's almost like no hundred dollar. So from this investment in India, so we can start this particular project. So here, as I told already, so you need to collect all the player details, match details. So therefore, if we provide everything to the customer, so we gradually grow your site. So site should have multiple pages. So therefore, initially you can start up with that, like no. a uh, day to day basis you can collect the data keep on enter so when your site becomes bigger and bigger so naturally the users also will come to your site from that you could able to generate the money so there are lot of way of you can generate the money so if at all if you are planning so then you need to think in this direction so then you need to work out so now i'll show the demo of this project so if you not yet subscribe to our channel please subscribe so and also we have a lot of project videos so if you select iblix tutorials channel name and then right click and you open in the new tab so here you can see all the project list there are different projects you can also learn how to make the projects in the different languages so therefore when you have please have a time please come to this site uh this channel and then browse the videos definitely will get a lot of benefit now i'll show the demo in uh, visual studio so here we already started the visual studio so this is the cricket database and these are the files which are there in this particular project and on the other side we have server explorer here and there is a connection so if you expand this you'll have a tables here so these are tables which are using in this particular project now Now to execute this, you need to click the button to run the project. Now you can see that the project is running. So click next. So we'll take to the next page. So here is admin login. So as usual, you need to log in with admin credentials. So if you give the wrong password, it should tell us. Okay, so it's the wrong password. So here you can provide options like you no know, country names. You can enter the country details here, and then you have to save. So on saving, if you go to list, you can see that what are the entries are done. That will come. Next is the city names. So in each country, what are the major cities where the cricket take place? So therefore, this is related to the cricket. Therefore, what are the entries you do? All related to the cricket, right? So now, if you see that one city already entered, like that, you need to enter all the cities. Okay, list. So here is a stadium list. So I entered one city. So therefore, you have to go to stadium. Then you need to keep on entering all the stadium details. 
next is the player details so here we have two players and if you go to player detail again so you need to type every player detail here and then you have to submit it team detail so based on the players we need to create the teams so india team australia team south africa team uh, sri lanka team so if you need to lot of data here so we need to enter all the data and then you need to create so here is the employees employee created here and the employee list and news list like this so okay so there is any new news you can enter it over there here and then faq faq list so these are things which is there in the admin now uh, we can go to customer and then you can see the customer list so this is the main address again it will take to the main page and you can see that uh, user login here um, so if you are a new user you need to sign up here so fill up all the details and then you have to sign up then you have to go to user login then you have to log in here so once we log in you can able to see we match our scores so which is this match who are playing what is the total run so employees are to update live so therefore they can able to view it live here so this is the faq list and uh, here is a sports news so what are the news already entered that news will come over here and this is the team details so for each team let's say australia team who are all playing here and you take india team so then who are all playing here so therefore if you enter all the data in the admin so therefore user can able to view all these things and then player details individual player details all the details will come over here right so the one more module is the employee module so again you have to come back to main page so you have to go to as employee login so here you have to type employee code and the employee password fine so now you can go to cricket score entry so here is the series name then who is batting who is bowling right so then what is the number of overs so how many runs there are any wickets we need to write the wickets then you have to save so when this record saved so user can get this detail so you can see that recent one so we entered here so then the runs will come so therefore just keep on updating so user can get the live data so hope you understand the concept now so based on this probably you need to plan it properly again uh, whether you want this way or you want a different way so once you get an idea so therefore modify it or improve that it will be easy but writing the code is again is a challenging but you are a fresher and you want to write to complete code it will take little time so therefore put little effort and try to write the whole program so if you write the program yourself you definitely get a lot of benefit one is for your job so nowadays your work experience is very very important therefore if you write the project you definitely get the work experience that will count to get the job so therefore try it and we have a separate videos like how to write the program like from the login form so like entering the data to display the data so all is there please watch our channel please subscribe and continue learn thank you